Hey, you're watching a Meryl Mania guitar. I'm Meryl Hamilton and today we're going to learn Last Christmas by Wham. It just has four chords and it's nice and strummy and stuff. So get ready and let's do it. So to play this song, you will require a Christmas jumper of some kind, some tinsel and a woolly hat and a guitar. So let's get stuck in now. The first chord is called D. And in case you're not sure, it's this. So we go to fret two on the orange D string, fret two on the purple E string. It's important to use your first two fingers here. It works out a little easier this way. And then your third finger goes on the third fret on the green B string. Okay, so here we go. We're going to strum it over two bars in this rhythm. In case you didn't catch that, it's down, down, up, up, down, up, and again, down, down, up, up, down, up. Okie dokie. Now the next chord is a B minor bar chord. So our first finger will hold every string on fret two, except for the E string at the top. So it's pressing across every single string there. Second finger goes on to fret three, on the green B string, third finger goes on to fret four on the blue D string, and baby finger goes on to fret four on the orange G string, just underneath the other finger. We can strum every string except for the E string at the top, in the same rhythm as before. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. If this is too hard and you're a total beginner, then you could take this finger away and it's still a B minor. But for this version, we just need to make sure we only strum the strings you are holding. Which is a little harder for the right hand, I guess. Next, let's go to an E minor chord. So that's easy peasy cheesy so we need to go to fret two on the yellow a string fret two on the blue d string and we strum every string in the same rhythm as before down down up up down up down down up up down up then we go straight to an a chord and we don't have to move our hand much for this transition we're just going to put each of our two fingers down a string and then add this third finger here on the green B string fret two. We're going to strum every string except for the E string at the top. Same rhythm. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, so I'll just play all those four chords together now. And really that's actually the entire song. Those chords just repeat round and round the whole way. It's a bit of a type of song where it's hard to tell what it is unless they're singing with it though. And uh, you don't want to hear me sing. <laughs> so you'll have to imagine it or sing yourself. But here we go. Starting with a D chord, which we will strum from the blue D string down. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Then to a B minor bar chord. Down, down, up. Up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. To an E minor chord. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Then to an A chord. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So now a little faster without me gas bagging over the top. Try and join in if you can. It's uh, not too fast if you're experienced with these chords already. So after four, we'll play it a few times round. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Again. 
Okay, and what I like about this version is it requires no capo because there are other ways of playing this and it will sound exactly the same as this version. It's just those ways require a capo. This is like a no capo version, so it's quite nice. Also, if you're struggling with the rhythm of down, down, up, up, down, up, you could simplify this and just do eight down strums on each chord on the beat like this, D. Okay, because each chord lasts for two bars and in each bar there are four beats. So that's why we could do four strums for each bar, but because it lasts for two bars, it's eight strums on each chord. I'm making it sound way more confusing than it really is. <laughs> but it's that what you just heard anyway. Just ignore everything I just said. <laughs> So that's all the chords to the song, just played over and over a whole bunch of times. And then that's it. So thanks very much guys for watching this video. I hoped it's helped you to achieve learning this song. And now maybe you could play this on Christmas day to your family. Maybe you could even make your hair like an 80s mullet like George Michael has in the music video. <laughs> that would be a lot of fun. It'll be an unforgettable Christmas if you do that with your hair. <laughs> Anyway, Merry Christmas everybody, have fun, remember practice makes progress and I'll see you cats on the flippity flop.